Hello, and welcome to UX Boost Pills. Today I'll be explaining how to use UX Boost user persona reporting template. But first, what are user personas? User personas allow you to get to know your target audience on a more intimate level through your research. When you collect data during research, the demographics are useful as is, but as static numbers, they don't really serve you as much as if you create a set of user personas. When you create personas, you are transforming these numbers into better representations of your audience. With user personas, the product team can better understand common pain points users have and better improve the design process and ultimately the product or service. Other reasons to use user personas include, you can create a product without a user persona, but it's difficult to empathize. Personas are a strong communication tool to frame the product within the team. It creates dynamic scenarios for satisfying different personas. So, now that you're convinced as to why user personas are important to include in the design process, let me go through the structure of the template with you, so you can put it into use. Oh, and UX Boost Academy will be launching a course on user personas soon, so stay tuned. How to use the user persona reporting template. The following template has four parts. Number one an introduction to the positioning method. Number two, a plotted chart displaying all the personas. Number three, personas based on clustered groups based on proximity. Number four, the personas. Before using the template, you need to have done these things. Collect real data through surveys and interviews in order to model your personas off of. While collecting research findings, begin with a hypothesis for each persona and use a user journey map to emphasize a user's action in steps. Number one, the positioning method. Use a matrix to identify personas. Map personality on an X and Y axis. Identify two attributes that can be used to segment the audience into like groups. Find a common metric to track across different personas. For instance, tech savviness, hiking ability, etc. In my example, I'm working for a fictional client, Trailwalker app, an app for hikers with hiking trails, offline maps, track logging, fitness goals, etc. So my X and Y attributes are level of hiking experience and tech savviness in using the Trailwalker app. It's important to highlight products your audience already uses in your industry. For instance, a Trailwalker app if your client already has the app downloaded, or if not, a relevant product. Numbers 2 and 3. Plotted chart and cluster groups into personas. Cluster multiple personas into groups. Prioritize personas based on which of the identified personas are particularly important. It's particularly useful to include these slides, as the better the data is visualized, the more likely they are to be used good for stakeholders to have as a quick visual reminder. Number four, the personas. Finally, on to the personas. The persona slides include three to five unique personas based on first talking to actual users. Remember, always use real data. Can include a number of different demographics characteristics, for example, age, gender, etc., in order to make them as realistic as possible but not too much as this becomes overwhelming. Pick what's relevant to your client's company. Photos should be realistic, not of a supermodel, etc. Highlight user motivations and pain points. In our example, we use goals and needs. Use icons to emphasize information. Use data visualization, horizontal dotted or bar charts, as in our example. Include whatever is helpful for your company. For instance, as Trailwalker is an app, we decided to talk about tech savviness. Keep layouts consistent. The better the personas look, the more likely they are to be used. Utilize images, symbols, and graphics as much as possible. Highlight the differences between personas. Use a quote as a key takeaway or differentiating factor. Ultimately, personas have to be realistic. Readers should be able to picture them vividly in their minds. Ultimately. Personas have to be ultra-realistic in order for them to be effective. 
Your audience has to be able to imagine them sitting right in front of them as if they could lean over and touch them. If you want to learn more about user personas, stay tuned for our full-length course on user personas soon to launch on UX Boost Academy.